And if you're asked to open an art exhibition, it's handy if the person whose exhibition you're opening can actually paint a bit. And so uh, the evidence is so clear on, on these walls that, that John can uh, seriously paint a bit. And I'm, I'm a fan of figurative painting. I, I know that art has to go where art has to go, but I sometimes have difficulty following it, especially if it's a pile of bricks or an unmade bed. It's, like I say, it everyone to their own case, but I like, I like bodies and I like trees and I like landscapes. I particularly like um, portraiture and it's worth going around the corner here to see the extraordinary uh, series of faces that, uh, that John has painted. Um, they're 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 so alive, uh, and yet they they are so they have the idiosyncrasy of individualism. They they absolutely capture not just the people in the paintings, but and this is a, a theme that goes I think through all of John's painting, where they're going. There's a sense. Kieran Carty talks about John's still lives, and says that they're very clearly the one thing they're not is still. His still lives are, are in motion, they're, they're fluid, they, they, they look like, like things that, particularly his, his, his drawings of uh, fruits and vegetables, are, are things that are undergoing a transformation. And in John's case, the transformation, I think he'd agree with me, is entropy. It's that gradual move towards dissolution, the thing that drives us through life towards the end that we approach some of us more rapidly than others, I speak of myself, uh, that, that, we, that we constantly approach. So John's, both his still lives and his extraordinary, his hands, his heads, his, the bodies in, in human phrases, they're, they're still and yet they're moving. If you look at his, his hand pictures, you see the, the, anatomically they're often distorted to give the sense of power, the sense of, of, of clutching, the sense of possession, and, and the sense of movement towards an end not yet seen that, that invests all his paintings. Uh, I, I'm terrifically impressed by them, um, and I hope that, well, I know that you all will be. I'm going to stop talking because any time spent not looking at the paintings tonight is time uh, pretty much wasted. Uh, but just to say that uh, it, it is, it's a great pleasure to look at these uh, wonderful paintings and to hand you over to John himself to say a few words. <laughs> Uh, how can you follow that? I mean, <laughs> Barry, come on. Sing us a song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. so, uh, what do I sing? Okay. Um, i think about that one. Um, no, I mean, it's uh, fantastic, Barry. You, you've got such insight, you know. I mean, really. Uh, you, the letter you, you wrote helped. <laughs> 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 and um, I just marvel at your insight, and uh, I, I just think it's great. But... Um, yeah, I mean, so I'm delighted that everybody's here and uh, recognise a lot of people, most people. And um, just to thank Siobhan for putting, putting so much work into putting the exhibition together. And um, Miriam, of course, uh, who has uh, uh, long suffering with the, the house has been... A, uh, it started in the studio and then it moved up to one of the rooms and then it was in the kitchen and then there was screws and bolts and nuts and everything else up in the other place. So um, Can I say one thing at yeah, this moment? Yeah. <laughs> there was something even worse at a certain point. When John hung up lines over our bath <laughs> to experiment with different primers on canvas before he painted. <laughs> so these were all hanging down, instead of togs or anything else over the bath. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, now the house will be back to some kind of normality. Um, but anyway, you know, um, like, like Barry said, I do, I do like to explore different sort of media, and I see the challenge of that, and I think different media have uh, different kinds of temperament. And I'd just like to explore that and see the challenge of it and where it might lead. And sometimes 
one medium helps the other. Uh, so you get a sort of a cross fertilization of, of something and it always comes back if you're doing something in three dimension, you know, it helps when you go back to a two dimensional surface. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, anyway, Barry, thanks very much for, for doing that. And um, anyway, enjoy the rest of the evening. <laughs> limited to 25 spaces is John is actually going to do as he said it's called in Italy a performance but it's like a workshop here so he's going to will probably start a painting or a drawing yeah. if this is some this is unique um, if you do want to go you need to book your place and pay for it up front there is only 25 places so I mean it's absolutely beautiful and he will be it will be surrounded by his his paintings here there is a charge of 10 euro on this um, event. So if anybody is interested, just let me know or email me. But um, it's really important to book your, your space. Just to thank John very much um, for trusting me to do a solo exhibition for him. It's absolutely stunning. Um, as I said to John, I don't know many artists that can actually, you know, use absolutely every medium to the standard that you do. Um, from oils, or oil gesso, watercolours, charcoal drawings, absolutely stunning um, and thank you very much i'd also like to thank barry very very much for opening this and also to congratulate you on your bbc program that and <laughs> um, my mother and others um, and other strangers sorry that um, but uh, just congratulations and thanks a million for doing this for us this evening it's an absolute privilege to both john and so.